These fires may burn for weeks to come, but after days of soaring temperatures and high winds, the weather is on the turn. It's actually been raining for the first time in two months. Hopefully it'll give the firefighters a little bit of a break up here. We could use a downpour for three or four days. No sign of that yet, and 500 firefighters are still hard at work here. But the temperature's fallen, the humidity's risen, and there is now a sense of optimism from the authorities. This is uh, great firefighting weather. We can really get in there and uh, really get a handle on this fire and, and, and really get a gr death grip on it. But for the wildfire stuff out in the forested area, that's going to take us a long time to clean up. But I feel very uh, uh, buoyed and happy that we're making great progress, uh, especially in the community. Much of Fort McMurray is still a no-go area. The gas supplies off, the power grid's damaged, the water's undrinkable. But it's now thought 80% of its houses have survived. Some places you don't even know there was a forest fire. Uh, there's some areas that have been affected, uh, some areas totally wiped out. But all our key infrastructure is in place. We have our schools, we have our, our hospital, we have all the key infrastructures, it's fine. But most of the 88,000 residents who were forced to leave still face weeks, months away from home, and some will have to start from scratch. Canada's rallied around these victims, sending tons of clothes and provisions to evacuation centres like this one in Edmonton. You come with a small bag of clothes, it, it really just makes things so much easier while you're trying to sort everything out. And, have a million other things going through your mind of, OK, what's happening with work, what's happening with how the house, what's happening with everything. This is likely to be the costliest fire in Canada's history, with insurance claims running into the billions. Alberta's nearby oil production plants, like these filmed before the fires, have also been hit. Production is down by more than a million barrels a day, pushing global oil prices up, which means this fire's affecting us all. Richard Lister, BBC News.